Hi, I'm designer Jen Gallagher and welcome to this out of the box video. Today I'm sharing some purchases that I recently made from Simon Says Stamp. A lot of them are basic supplies, but there are a few fun things that I threw in there. I, I'm always thinking about replenishing basic supplies. We don't have as many local scrapbook stores, so I try and keep on top of the things that I'm using. The first thing that I got is this Stampendous Rubber Stamp Cleaner. It's a spray that you spray on your stamp cleaning pads and it cleans off your stamps. And I was out. The Stampendous one seemed to be one of the least expensive options, so I went ahead and got that one. I'm going to try a technique that I saw Christina Warner use in which she used a regular ink pad to do some blending with. So I went ahead and got a whole pack of ink blending foam from Ranger. I already have the applicator, I just needed some new colors to use on some stamping ink I recently purchased. One of the most fun things I got was this stamp set called Happy Wishes. I want to try building some floral sets in my Jen's card video series, which is every Wednesday. So I got one that had both great sentiments, but also had some items that I could build a floral looking card with. So this one again, this one is called, I believe, Happy Wishes, and I just loved it. And then this one was only $5, so I had to have it, but it is a I Heart Star stamp and they have a long strip with hearts that you could repetitively stamp and create a fun background, as well as some smaller ones that you can use to create stamp backgrounds. And for $5, all of the Bow Bunny ones seem to be around $4.99, so I went ahead and got some of these. And then I realized in my stash I was missing some key tools, and one is just a great circle cutting tool. And I used my die cuts from my digital die cuts, but I wanted manual die cuts for these. And this one is, I think this is the large circle set, but I'll connect you to and link you to all the supplies in the description below. But look how tiny that circle starts out, and it gets quite large, and I want to do some die cutting on cards again, again for my Jen's Cards video series. So I got this particular one, and it's a stackable circle. And then to dress up my cards, I wanted to get some rectangles that have faux stitching in them. And this one is the Large Stitched Rectangle Stackable and it is made so the largest one fits perfectly on an A2 card with a little bit of a border around it. So I got this one. I feel like this one and this circle one are some fundamentals that you should always have in your craft area. So I went ahead and got them. Again, supplies are linked below. And then because I'm doing lots of stamping, I got some more 110 pound weight Solar White Nina cardstock. And this is great for stamping and for coloring. So I went ahead and got that. Again, all supplies are listed below. You can also visit Jen Gallagher for additional inspiration. Take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can view all the videos using these new supplies that I've purchased.